Hi everyone, welcome to Crystal Light. Uh, my name is Charlotte. Thank you for being here, guys. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're a returner, welcome back. Guys, please help su uh, support my channel by subscribing. I'm so appreciated. God bless you all. So this is a reading for Scorpio. Scorpio, what is that? Scorpio. <sighs> First half of November. Happy birthday to the Scorpions that have already celebrated their birthday. And happy birthday for those who are about you. God bless you guys. May you have serenity. To me, a serenity is everything. It means everything. When you're serene, you're cool. So, may God grant you serenity, guys. So, let's go over some astrology as usual. Obviously, the sun is in Scorpio. We know that since the 23rd or 24th, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, the moon is in Scorpio as well, 27th or 28th, depending. Mercury's retrograde today. Happy Halloween. Mercury started his retrograde today. We had a shadow period before, though, so we probably you already felt that. We know what Mercury retrograde is about. It's about the re reevaluations, re studying, resurfacing of X's, all that re re good stuff. Okay, and Mercury is going to be retrograde in Scorpio until the 20th of November, and then it will go direct on December 9th. Um, in Sagittarius, okay? Chiron is retrograde in Aries. Aries is the self. So Chiron is the planet of healing. So there's a need for self-healing, guys, okay? We also have um, the sun and the moon in Scorpio doing an opposition with Uranus that's in Taurus in retrograde, okay? Uranus is retrograde in Taurus. What does this mean? There's a conversation between emotions, the underworld, issues of codependency need to be figured out and identified because Uranus is the plan of disruption, awakening, and revolution. So, yeah. We also have Mars and Libra that's squaring Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn, both direct. So, Mars is an action, you know, type of personality. He's a go-getter. He's a lord of war. He's like, let's go. Fire energy. But he's kind of like being pushed back with all this, you know, Chiron and all this. He slowed down, you know, Pluto's like, uh, and Saturn is like, no, calm down. So it's like, he's not, a, he's not comfortable. All right. So there might be frustrations due to stillness or not being able to, you know, to propel yourself. Because we also have the North Node in Cancer, which is all about emotions. So Mars is not really, I mean, he does analyze, but he doesn't really go off of emotions. He's more like, okay, he has an idea, it feels right, let's go. He's not sitting around and analyzing. So that's why he's a little bit ugh, uncomfortable being pulled left and right. And then that's that Libra energy as well. So, but when square Pluto, it's best to pick up and move forward on anything that has to do with your projects. Okay, transform your projects, revise projects you're working on that came up probably Libra season. Lots of opportunities came up Libra season. Lots of collaborations, lots of new ideas, new projects. Um, meetings, you know, start acting on that. But remember, Mercury retrograde, so take it slow, watch what you say, watch what you sign, watch what you do, watch what you hear. Mars is quintuxing Neptune as well, which is retrograde in Pisces. Lots of emotions going on, guys. Scorpio, Pisces, North Node in Cancer, Chiron. It's all about self-healing. It's, it's, it's because Pluto, we're, we have to change, revolutionize, transmute, leave the old behind in order to start this, two, this 2020 in a, on a fresh, clean slate with nothing holding us back. No shackles, right? So detach. Stay out of drama. Focus on your dreams, your aspirations, and work on them and on yourself. Do not get stuck in other people's crap, basically. All right, guys? Then early November, whew, there's a lot going on. We're going to have on the 9th or 8th or 9th, depending where you are, the sun entering in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is about knowledge, travel, higher learning. And there's a lot going on over there. There's Saturn sextiling Neptune. 
there's Saturn sextiling the sun. Then there's sun, the sun trining Neptune. And then whoo, the trine, whoo, a Taurus trine by the full moon in Taurus on the 12th to the 13th. It's like, we'll get back to that. All right, guys. To wrap it up, to make it simple, this is a time of transformation. Going in the underworld of Scorpio. Facing what Scorpio is bringing up to the surface, knowing that it no longer can be pushed under the rug and that it is for your highest good. No matter how painful it is, it is not happening to you, but for you. Make room for the blessings, things you've manifested. Manifested, sorry, Jupiter is in Sag, I think, um, or in Capricorn. But Jupiter is here and it will be going in... Um, in, in in Sagittarius with um, with Saturn, they will have well, they will have this really sexy thing going on, and that's all blessings, good health, like just prosperity, surprises, you know, gifts are coming. So you want to be ready for that. You want to have room for that, okay? All right, guys, let's get a um, numinous deck, astrological card, just to like center more the energy for you, Scorpio, in this first half of November. This is my sexy, stylish um, Astro deck, The Numinous by Beth Matassa and uh, Ruby Warrington. Love this deck. If you are interested in astrology, this is a deck I recommend. It's easy to learn. It's uh, very graphically uh, modern, and it's just beautiful. All right? And very, very easy to learn. Very, very easy to learn. So let's do this. I don't have space to cut, so I'm going to cut in my hand. All right, what do I have for Scorpio? Scorpio, 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 I got to use the message for this message. Go to my source. What is the message for Scorpio? Oh, that's a lot. We'll take them. We'll take them. So, we have, sorry, I'm like, that makes a lot of noise, sorry. So, we have Gemini, so the butterfly. Scorpio, Gemini is in your, uh, whatchamacallit, let's see. Eighth house, which is the underworld, which is your house of intimacy, intimacy, sorry, and all that stuff. So Gemini, like, we, is ruled by air, Mercury. We're in Mercury retrograde. I feel like there's a need to express something that no longer works for you in a relationship, whether it be at work, personal, family, family relationship. There's something that you no longer can do, and it's time you speak up, or at least evaluate it. It's, it's coming. Actually, I feel like it's in your face that you no longer can deal with this. But be careful again. Mercury retrograde. Gem Mercury retrograde is just calling you to revisit. And also Scorpio is about that. So revisit now. Maybe hold off before you speak. Until you're sure. But there is a need. Whatever you can't do anymore is because you can't do it anymore. So take care of it now before it really explodes and creates other stuff like health issues or it's just going to get bigger, basically. All right. So Gemini, curious, communicative, versatile, flexible, variety seeking, social, collaborative, brilliant, perceptive, connected, vocal, adaptive, street smart, mobile, studious, superficial, restless, and fidgety. Yes, this needs to be addressed. You're not going to be able to hold it back. It's going to start affecting you physically. Seriously. So then, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> then we have the ninth house. <coughs> sorry. Ninth house is uh, Aquarius, the seeker. So Aquarius is about travel, um, how to help others, how to revo revolutionize and like, you know, new ideas, new concepts. So you have the ninth house. So like I said, it's revisiting um, projects how to adapt them more to to make them more fruitful okay it says for in travel adventure higher education customs faith beliefs pilgrimage spiritual quests aspirations journalism religion gurus and risk-taking with scorpio it's not all bad a lot of stuff we really like hold dear to our heart that you know aspirations things we wanted to do dreams that we've Maybe forgot about. Also, that's coming up with um, in Scorpio season and Mercury. It's not all like, oh, wow, all the demons. No. Ideas that we really held dear to our heart are coming back. Maybe you want to work on that again. You know, innovate them or incorporate old ideas into new ideas. So that's the ninth house, which is Aquarius, like I said. And then you have 
your the tenth house, which is Pisces. I mean, no, what am I saying? The ninth house is well, the ninth house. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. <sighs> the ninth house is Sagittarius, which is seeking. Okay, which is which, we're about to go in like the sun in Sagittarius pretty soon. <sighs> Um, so it's about travel, seeking higher learning, still learning, improving, have getting information. And then you have the 10th house, which is reputation, which is Capricorn. A lot of stuff happening in Capricorn right now. Okay. Remember Pluto and Saturn are there. So lots to do with like, um, not getting into the drama of people saying who said, she says, hold on a second guys. Sorry. for my son is about to burn the house down so capricorn reputation okay pluto and saturn are in capricorn direct who is not serving you anymore who's talking behind your back who doesn't have your back who's trifling who's fake and who so has your back and that you haven't given them you know the appreciation it's relationship, evaluating your relationships. And with this Mercury retrograde, I'm pretty sure it's people that are not, do, do, that do not have your back. It says, career, responsibility, achievement, competence, fame, notoriety, standing, authority figures, legacy, purpose, pinnacle, the patriarchy, empire. So this is people in general, work, family, love. Listen. This season, Scorpio season, is about intimacy. Intimacy is the love you give to the people closest to you. The relationship you have with the people closest to you. This is about yourself. Figuring out what makes you tick. What makes, what hurt, hurt you in the past that you've accepted. Why did you accept it? And know that you no longer have to accept it since it makes you feel this way. It can't come with you. I don't care who it is. So, and then you have to face it so then you can heal. Stop lying to yourself. But Scorpio, I have a feeling that you're doing good because you're, you're used to this underworld. I mean, you, you rule it. It's your world. Scorpio, I think you just have to be careful not to be too hasty or vengeful. Not to get caught in your feelings, I think. You know what? Everybody's acting crazy because they're not used to the Scorpio uh, energy. So let them, let them have their moment. You just observe. People are going to tick you off. You're going to want to bite their head off. Don't do it. Just, listen, just watch them and laugh. This is a movie. It's a little comedy. Just for you, Scorpio. Okay? Alright, Spirit Light, Spirit Light, God, this Master, God, and Goddess, this message is God Almighty Source. What is the message for Scorpio first half of November? And then, you know, if you can help some people that you really feel like they deserve, because you, you're used to this, you know, the, you know the land, you know, help them out. Help them heal. Okay? Spirit Light, Spirit Light, God, this Master, God, and Goddess, this message is God Almighty Source. What is the message for Scorpio second half, I mean, sorry, first half of November? Uh, what is the message, Spirit of Light? One card from the Queen of the Moon. Change. That's what Scorpio's about. That's what Pluto's about. Change. Time to change. Time to flip it. The scenario. Time to change. Saturn is very strict and like he doesn't like change very much because he's used to doing his things and it worked so far so he's like whatever i don't need yeah. but everything is pointing to a change there's pluto there's uranus it's like it's all about change here it's all about changing to improve this change is an improvement even saturn is like hmm, i see where you're going with that yeah mm, you're, yeah okay right that's an eight Eight is change. Eight is um, finding that flow that works, that is easy, that is comfortable. Okay? Look at this. 
change is coming. There's like lightning. But she's sitting there. She's like contemplating it. She's trusting in the universe. She's trusting in her intuition. And she's letting herself get carried away, knowing that it's for her better. It's for her highest good. And it's it's good. And it's needed. And she's just like abandoning herself to the change. Knowing that it's natural. Change is natural. It's cycles. There's a cycle changing here. We're entering a new cycle, guys. Love it. Love it. And it's going to be scary. It's going to be tumultuous. It's going to be something we don't know. Change is always scary. But you have to trust. And be free, light like a bird. Let yourself be carried away. Go with the flow. Knowing it, that it's, it, it's not going to, you know, you're not going to hit the wall. Take the leap. It's almost like a full energy. Take the leap. You're not going to fall. Spirit will catch you because this is spirit doing this for you. It's needed. It's necessary. All right, guys. So, let's get a animal oracle from Colette Baron Reed, Spirit of the Light. What is the message for Scorpio on their birthday season? First month of November. Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, sexy, sexy Scorpio. I'm not, I don't feel like cutting, so I'm just going to go ahead. Scorpio, the first half of October. The rulers of sexiness. Mystery, mystery. Scor I can see, I'm hearing Scorpio. Don't don't use your, don't don't use that sexiness to 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 for, you know in a negative way. Yeah. You start seducing people. Don't, yeah, don't trick people, Scorpio. Okay. And, and, and the vengeance, that darkness, mm, that Scorpio tail, kind of fold it a little bit, tie it up. Mm. Don't, don't brandish it. Don't sting anybody, Scorpio. People are going to get on your nerves. But just understand, they're not used to it. Poor souls. They're all confused. A lot going on for them. Just watch. Mind your business. And if people deserve your help around you, help them. Help them. Moth spirit. <sighs> Twelve. Three. Surrender now. Two. The change. I see all this red. It's, I feel passion. Red and red. Surround, surrender to the change. Like I said, a lot of you are, are, are this is like sacral. I mean, <laughs> yeah, sacral chakra. I feel um, root chakra. Yes. Lots of stuff is about things you're holding on that are like wounds, childhood wounds. Like just deep, deep wounds that need to change, that are hindering your whole life. Without you knowing, because you're like, okay, I, I'm over it. No, you're not. It's the root of the problem. And that's why Scorpio is putting it in your face. These, this is, these are deep-rooted, rooted things that need to come out. Guys, that's what I feel with this red. You have to reclaim your passion. What's true to you. What lights you up. What makes you go. Pleasure. Maybe some of you have dealt with something that was so difficult that it's even like affecting your sex life. That's what I feel. You're, you're allowed to be a free sexual being. Responsibly, obviously. But you're allowed. Okay, guys. This is passion. I love this energy. I love it. Then we have believe in yourself, definitely. Squirrel spirit. Another 12, which is a 3. We're seeking for balance, body, mind, and soul. That's the only way you can manifest and move forward successfully. Unhindered, confident, enthusiastic, and just open. 
the squirrel is too is so small but he's working but he has faith he knows that whatever is working on he loves it he's doing it with passion he's having fun with it he's passionate dedicated he's small but to him he's invincible because why it's coming from a place of joy and passion surrender now and believe in yourself. You can do it. Find your grandeur. Reclaim your power. Beautiful, guys. Love it. Trust in the magic. Wow. 6-6. Six, six. Success. Balance. Which is a 12 again. 3. We have three threes here. Manifestation is now. But you have to do the work. White Raven. Trust in the magic. 333. Three, three. The magic is waiting for you. Change. That change you're hoping for is here. But you have to do the work. And patience is needed as well. Now, let's get just one um, tarot card. Spirit likes for the Egoist Master, brothers and sisters, Father, Mighty Source. What is the message for Scorpio first? Um, first, hello, half of November. Those are a lot. I'm just going to get the first one and another one. The last one, Spirit, this one. Ooh, look at that. First card, Hermit. That's that work, that underworld work. Trusting in the universe, going under to find the light, the path, and to reemerge, reborn. No. Magical. Go trust in the magic. Go find the magic. Go in there. Go in the dark. You will find the light. You are the light. Your soul is the light. You need to go within and find that light again if you've lost it. And guess what? Then everything will come to you. This is an offer. Knight of Cups of love, prosperity. Just this is enough. People will see. You will attract everything you want and everything that will that you love, everything you hope for. This is an offer. Everything will come to you, but you have to do the work. Then you can manifest, and then it will come to you. Because then you have the Ace of Cups, gift from the universe, that manifestation. Cup overflowing here. Abundance. Loving on yourself, people loving you, just vibrating super high. Your wishes coming true, your wildest dreams coming true. Just reborn that three body, mind, and soul, just like that rose unfolding. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Whoo, let's get a um, can you see the cards? Here we go. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Let's get a crystal, just a crystal. You know I'm a crystal lava. Actually, I'm going to start calling you guys my crystals because we are crystals. We're gems. We are the most powerful crystals here before any other crystals. So I'm going to start calling you guys my crystals. So crystal souls, what is the crystal for you to add to yourself? Because you're the crystal. This is just helping you. Healer. Numite. Maybe you need to go do some healing. You do need some healing. But maybe there's somebody, that Knight of Cups, that, that, that can help you if you need help. Or maybe it's you, Scorpio. Because like I said, this is your season. You know this. I mean, you know the, you know the way around this thing that's happening to everyone. So maybe, yes, some people, you, there's somebody that needs your help, Scorpio. Look around you. Carefully. Okay, somebody needs your help. Or if somebody's acting all crazy and attacking you, it's because they need their help. People that act like that are not okay. So that's why they're acting like that. They're unhappy. So take it with a grain of salt and know that they're coming from a place of hurt. They're not okay. So don't, don't, don't sting them, Scorpio. Take the healer attitude. I'm not saying be like, oh, what's up? Yeah, you're, oh, you're a bitch, but yeah. Okay, go on, what's up? No, but... Send them love and, and let them be. Now, if you really have it in you, try to understand what's going on and 
let them know you're there for them. And then it's their free will if they come to you or not, you know. But you're not forced to, remember. Okay? Huh. Then we have, with the Work Your Light, Pleiades. Double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. The healer. Some of you guys are healers. Doctor, psychiatrist. Um, motivational speakers here. Guys, this is beautiful. My Scorpios are stepping up in their season to show people how it's done, Scorpio. But don't forget yourself, though. Don't be, caught, don't be caught up in other people's drama, trying to help them, trying to be the savior here, Jesus and all, Mother Teresa, that you forget to manifest too, because, I mean, you have three threes on the ground. Don't forget it, Scorpio. Scorpio, show them how it's done. Show them. Love you guys. Oh, let's get a magic card. While well, we're at it, right? Spirit lights, spirit light, guardians, master, guardians. Master. What is the message for Scorpio? Let's get a last card. Making magic, Scorpio. Ooh, show them your magic. That's how I'm going to call this video. Fire. The element of fire heralds new life, renewed passion, and positive transformation. That change. Scorpio. Fire. Then we have, sorry, just threw that. Water. Work with the element of water for healing, purification, and refinement. You have, Scorpio, there's a need for purification, transmute, this, transmute and then purify. You have two elements. That's huge. And you are water. So balance those two. Your fiery nature and your emotional nature. You need balance. That body, that mind, and that soul. Soul, that mind. Balance it out. So then, you'll be the healer, Scorpio, because you have a mission. You need to balance those two out, Scorpio. Change is coming, and it's for the better. And look at that. That's healing. You go, Scorpio. Show them how it's done. Show them. I love you guys. Thank you so much, Scorpio. I'll see you guys uh, for the collective readings. Bye-bye. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Love you, my crystal souls. Love you, crystals. Bye.